juice with mingling fifth of Japan. Run it down, I'm blinking your man. Same time, you still get that freedom. You know what I mean? Yeah. You get that, you get that freedom of being able. To, that's one thing that I do like about bags. You know, I know a lot of people kind of despise them and everything like that, but you know, 50 Z. Yeah. Oh, oh. That you do like about your car? Uh, I see. Best thing I gotta say is the fitment in general. Okay. Uh, worst thing I gotta say probably the motor. The motor. Why yeah. is that? Uh, the VQ is not a great motor in general. Yeah. Gaskets are prone to go out on these, which yeah. cause really bad oil pressure issues. Yeah. Um, you would have to take take apart the whole timing cover, redo timing. Yeah. Uh, everything you have to take apart. So. Okay. It's a big job. It's not something you can do in one day, unfortunately. Yeah. In France, choose from England, fifth of Japan. Run it down, I'm blinking your man. Controversial question that I have as far as wheels and coils are not a bill. Okay. How you how you feel about that phrase in, in today's car scene? That's a that's a great question. Uh, it's gonna be a hard question for a lot of people on a certain topics. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to say it's just not a bill. Yeah. It's just not a bill. Wheels, wheels yeah. bags and wheels, wheels and wheels, not a bill. It can't okay. be. 
Yeah. I can't be. Now, granted, some people do get into shows with bags of wheels. Right. Um, but when you think, when you think build, there's people, I guess it depends on people's, like, perspective. Yeah. You've got people who can do, uh, you know, bags of wheels and get into a show, and you can, like, slim it up, then you can't have bags of wheels. Yeah. You just can't. Okay. Okay. Um, you have to have and paint, paint over yeah, wrap. Yeah, paint, gonna be, wrap, yeah. That's going to be a big topic as well. Okay. Um, if you're wanting to get into any kind of the shows with an older car, yeah. wrap, you have to do a wrap. Yeah, you, you have, have to. to. Yeah. So, like, this is black underneath. Mm-hmm. It's a jet black. Um, and it's just, it's not perfect. No matter how much. I got it repainted back in 21, jet yeah. black. Um, and no matter how many times you wash it, no matter how many times you I've never taken it through a self-car wash or like an automatic car wash. Yeah. Um, and it always ends up catching some kind of like dirt, debris, you know. Yeah, of course. Scratches. So do you are, do you have any type of uh, like paint protection film on here or anything? No. So when it comes down to washing, like how much would you say you would have to wash it like daily? So wrap is uh it's really good for not having to actually wash it like i can get away with just wiping this thing down yeah that's yeah honestly with some like ceramic spray bro yeah and uh it does really good with that because not not all the times you have access to a car wash like for exactly example, in a city like this a town like this that's really populated for a car show right you don't have the time and stuff to get into that so oh, yeah. being able to just kind of wipe it down really does help yeah okay Um, so, um, how do you feel about, the, there's a phrase, you know, how you feel about reps? Fake parts, fake wheels, you so know, fake I, anything. I rocked reps for the longest time. Okay. I had a pair of 18 inch GMRs. Okay. Uh, GF19s. And they were, uh, they were deep dish silver. They're actually probably the best looking reps, I gotta say. Yeah. I had a lot of people ask me if they are real wheels or not. Yeah. Um, so... Reps, I, I think some reps can look good. Some yeah. reps fit better vehicles. Mm-hmm. Um, as far as three-piece wheels, you know, some people can convert one piece to three-piece. Yeah. Um, so, I gotta say, reps, I'm not really too worried about. Yeah. I mean, a wheel's a wheel, as long as it fits the vehicle and as long as it looks good, I'm not really worried about it. Yeah. Okay, so, let me ask you. So, does, with this being back, you know, does this does it still get up and go? Uh, it depends if I want to ride low or not. Yeah. So like right now we're shooting rollers. I'm gonna I'm gonna be on the floor a little bit. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. Um, yeah, and like I said, the, the same time you still get that freedom. You know what I mean? Yeah. You get that you get that freedom of being able. To, that's one thing that I do like about bags. You know, I know a lot of people kind of despise them and everything like that, but you know. Um, when it comes down to it, if there was somebody trying to modify this a 350 Z? Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. So if there was somebody trying to modify a 350 Z, okay? Okay. What would you say? What, what advice would you give to them to maybe look out for? To, uh, that may be something that you didn't know when you started building your 350 Z. So, first and foremost, maintenance over any kind of cosmetic issues. Okay. You always want to start with maintenance. That's gallery gaskets, yeah. oil changes, do your transmission flushes, do your rear differential flushes, yeah. anything that is preventative maintenance to keep anything from blowing up mm-hmm. or causing any issues down yeah. the road, uh, do 100%. Stay on top of your oil changes, 350Cs, they burn oil, especially yeah. their rev up motors, rev right. up motors burn through oil. 3,000 miles on the oil change, full synthetic only. Really? Yeah, only. Can't, can't do. Okay, okay. She, she, put him on the shirt, yeah, white tee. Like put a check on him, Nike. Like like yeah, yeah, pussy boy, I ain't never like in. Yeah. Try to get that guap again. Yeah. Run up on me, I'm. Like, yeah. Run up on me, I'm catching the shit. Yeah, yeah. Run it up, run. Um, and then why did why did you decide to go with the 350s? Why did you decide to go with this model? Out of all models of Nissan's that you could have went with, why why decide to go with this model? So the uh, 
this is a touring model, so it's got the heated and powered seats. Okay, okay. Um, now, I actually didn't buy this vehicle. I actually traded my first car, which was a 2006 Scion TC. Uh-huh. Uh, and... Oh, <laughs> sorry. No, you good. And uh, no. I actually traded that, and this thing was... Uh, not not in great shape. Really? The only reason I got this car was because the motor was in great shape. Yeah. Cosmetically, this thing was not in great shape at all. Yeah. Um, paint was peeling off. The uh, mechanically, this thing was in great shape. This is the only reason I got it. And with me being a you know sophomore in high school, I'm limited to my kind of hours that I can work. Yeah. Um, so being able to only bring home 300, 400 dollars a paycheck a week, yeah. uh, being able to fix this up to where I want it to be, yeah. uh, it's kind of hard. So, but I ended up managing it. Um, I didn't really start my build process until I was actually out of high school and started making more money. Uh -huh. So, whenever I was, uh, you know, junior and senior, um, I only had coils and coils and wrenches. Uh, yeah, typical, of course. Typical, whatever everybody yeah. else said. Um, I didn't have anything handed to me, unfortunately, so I never yeah. got to have the, the lavish lifestyle of other people. Yeah. this car but if you were to sell this car as is wheels and everything what what, what would be your personal price tag that you would put on uh, that's a see, no, that's a question that's that's you know that's a type of question where everybody's different on. yeah uh, some people would be like nah you're crazy yeah you're I, know, I know that I, I, I've heard some crazy things bro I don't have some crazy things yeah I got okay so where I'm at I'm at twenty six thousand dollars into this build. Uh huh. Wheels, tires, paint, wrap. I got seven k in the motor alone. Okay. So, um, man, I feel like I feel, well, I feel like when it comes down to explain, if you explain everything that you have, I feel like that's when people kind of like, okay, oh, okay, I see why he would sell it for that much. Right, right. But when it when it comes down to it, when it comes down to it, it's like. It's like when people just come in, come up with a price. Oh, 30k. Right. No. Well, hey, bro, that car don't. So, but when you say, oh, I have 7k into the engine alone, I have put 26 thousand dollars into the. You know, that's why they can. Okay, I understand now. You know. Right. So I've actually it's been a replaced motor. Uh, the chassis only has 146 thousand on it. Yeah. Okay? That's pretty low for a 2003, especially Nissan 350Z. I gotta yeah. Say. Um. Transmission is actually about to get manual swapped after I leave Gallagher. Okay. Uh, so I've got a JDM motor, uh, fully built by RM Motor Works, um, API time is rocket chain, uh -huh. etc. So that ran me 6K alone. Okay, okay. Um, I've got a full exhaust system, ISR, white pipe, test pipes, uh, single exit cat bag, the Airlift 3P, uh, the Rad Singers, the wheels. Um, I actually got these, the seats that came in were all ripped up. These uh -huh. are actually from a, um, a Vert, a okay. 03 Vert, which is actually yeah. why my, my air light okay. thing, my, that light's on, right. is because it doesn't have the sensor that clips on underneath. Um, and I actually wanted to keep the OEM seats. I really like the OEM seats. Yeah. I, uh, I didn't want to use any kind of, you know, Recaro seats or any kind of the racing seats. I like yeah. the comfort, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. Like the, I like to be able to have my, my heated seats during the Yeah, of time. course, of course. Wait, so with, the, with these being not the OEM seats, you do get heated seats with these? Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay, yeah. okay. So, um, but as far as the price tag goes, I think, I think 14, 15 case per Okay. 
That's not bad. I like did. I said, I've, I've heard some crazy price tags. Yes. Realistically, bro, it's a 2003, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Granted, I've got a lot of money to it. It's not, does it that doesn't mean that it's going to hold its value, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, but I got to say, this is one of the cleanest seas that I know around. Not to not to glaze myself, but, yeah. you know, I, in my town, you know, people pay a lot of money for these. So, okay, okay. Uh, 13 14k as it sits, I think that's a fair price. Yeah, okay. Put a check on him, Nike. Nike. Yeah, yeah, pussy boy, I ain't never that like again. Yeah. Try to get that guap again. Yeah. Run up on me, I'm. Like, yeah. Run up on me, I'm catching the yeah, shit. Yeah, run it up, run it up, run it again. I don't give a fuck, bitch, I'm in bands. Say what? I'm in bands. Goddamn, God I don't give a hoover. Hot damn. damn. When I count up my checks in advance, when I get a bad bitch from France, <laughs> choose from me, live fifth of Japan. <laughs> run it down, I'm Blakey and man. And look, my last question to you right here would be my last question to you here would be how do you feel about people building cars and selling it off to people as a fully built car? Mm. Like I built my car right. and then I sell it to somebody and then they take they basically take my car, they don't do anything to it and then just so maybe slap their Instagram sticker on it. Right. It, de it depends. I've actually got a buddy who's done that. Okay. Uh, so, is that something that you agree or disagree with? It depends. If he's gonna go around and show it off, that's cool. Yeah. But if people ask, hey, is this so-and-so's car? And he says, no, it's my car. Yeah. Or they ask you what kind of questions you, you ask and then you just yeah. don't have a BS answer because you don't know because it's not your car. Right. Um, that's where things start to play a little bit. Yeah, okay. Okay, so, well, look, I want to thank you for your time today, okay? Thank you for giving us your opinions about the car scene, about the information about your car. All right, appreciate it, okay? Um, Y'all, you want to shout out your Instagram for everybody wanting to go follow you? Yeah, bro, it's uh, Bryson underscore 350Z. Okay, so Bryson underscore, underscore 350Z. Y'all please make sure y'all go follow him, okay, on all social medias. All right, y'all please make sure y'all like this video up. We're, we're coming all the way from Atlanta, Georgia, doing car reviews in Tennessee, our GAT, okay? So y'all please make sure y'all subscribe, and we'll see you guys next video. Peace. Lose more, trust more patience. We flip when this shit gets heinous. They tell me that they never change it, but was that when you left me hanging? Where was that when we had plans on the way? Oh, I'm out of here, I got a private plane on the way. She like, where, where you going? Somewhere way far from here. I feel like I can't get enough. Can you tell me some more about what you been up to? I feel like I can't let up to somebody here that I'm here for this struggle. It's no use of flexing my muscles. Big ass, we is not finna tussle. Four grams straight out the bundle. Big bad blunt, get the huff and the puff. You ain't much more than a statement. I know it sound crazy, but I need a million to take. I keep on getting this paper. I'm feeling unstable, cause I do not know it is.